Okay, we'd like to welcome today uh, two great uh, opportunities we have. We have some enlisted troops from the local area. A uh, <laughs> senior airman Stoney, who happens to be the award-winning recruiter in Prescott, and uh, Airman First Class Garcia, who's a Prescott High School graduate, who's uh, willing to tell you about how lucky he is that he's going to Germany in 24 hours, 48 hours. <laughs> so that's not bad for somebody from Prescott High School. Uh, you guys, take it away. How you guys doing? Like, like Colonel People said, I'm your local Air Force recruiter. But um, I just wanted to come in here and give you guys a story about my life on how I decided to join the Air Force and what I was thinking of when I was in this, when I was you guys' age. So I am from Yorktown, Virginia. That is, uh, that's the 757. It's right next to Langley Air Force Base. It's uh, right by Williamsburg in James City if, or Jamestown for a lot of you guys that don't exactly know where um, York County, Virginia is. Um, like I said, I graduated from Tab High School. Um, where it's about, it's about the same size as Prescott High School. I think our graduating, our school population is about 1,200 people or so when I was going there. Um, as a freshman, I didn't know what I was going to do. I knew that I was an athlete and I felt like I'm just gonna get a scholarship and I don't have anything to worry about. The military was never anything that I've ever thought about doing. But as years grew on, and during my junior year of high school, I was just like, what am I going to do? I really don't have any scholarship offers yet, so what am I going to do? So I ended up winning a state title during my junior year of high school. So I, after that, I was just like, wow, I, maybe this track thing is going to work out for me, and I might be able to play sports collegially. Senior year, I didn't play sports at all. Long story, didn't play any sports during my senior year. So, but no, before that, I won a, I won a state title as a sophomore and as a junior. And during uh, my senior year, I didn't play any sports. But after, after I graduated high school, I did get a scholarship offer, and I did go, and I competed two years uh, at a university in Indiana. During the second year of my university at Indiana, I actually tore my hamstring while I was competing at a track meet. And the very next, the very next uh, I think I spent three more weeks or so at school before I finally went home and at the end of the semester. So as soon as I got home, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to be that kid that graduated high school and never left the area at all. So what I did was I walked into my local Air Force recruiter's office and I, I was nervous just like many of you guys will be when you guys decide, if you guys decide to go to a recruiter and talk to them about your, your future in the Air Force. I was very nervous, but I told him I was willing to do anything that I could do to get into the Air Force because I just wanted to get in and and go from there. I didn't, had no idea what type of career field I wanted to get into. I didn't know that much about the Air Force. I just knew that it helped out my uncle who retired 20 years in the Air Force and it could be something that could benefit me later on as well. So my, during my first appointment at my recruiter's office, I was like, hey man, how do you get to be your job? I wanna do, I wanna be a recruiter. He was like, it's gonna be very hard for you to be a recruiter because you have to, you have to know everything about the Air Force pretty much front to back. So I was just like, wow, that's, that seems like